Hi everyone, just like to welcome you to my kitchen. My name is Camille and I hope you got your aprons because today we're going to get cooking. What's on the menu for today? Today we're making a special dedication to Sylvia. She requested a couple of weeks ago that I make some vegan burgers. Sylvia, this one's for you. So today's recipe consists of two components. First of all, we have the vegan burger over here. And the other part is a beetroot relish cum salsa, which we will get to later on. These are the ingredients we'll need there. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my recipes are always in the ingredients list, uh, are in the description below. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start off by putting our 80 grams of walnuts into the blender and we're going to blend that up. 210 grams of chickpeas, just one jar, washed and strained. We have the quinoa, red and white, 160 grams. So it's 80 grams in raw, just cooked up for 15 minutes. Pimenton, coriander seeds, and cumin seeds, which I've just toasted and uh, lightly cracked with a pestle and mortar. And then we have roasted red pepper. And actually, let me show you how to make that. chickpeas with the uh, quinoa and all the spices and just mix it off. This is a burger which you could use in the pan or on the barbecue or even just pan. You need to pan fry first and then just stick it in into the oven. I'll show you what the recipe mixture looks like. So this was the with the blended chickpeas and the quinoa with the spices. I did forget to mention that we need to add in um, a tablespoon of tomato puree. And this is what the, the coarseness of the nuts need to look like. It's what we're gonna do is just wet our hands slightly and take a bit of the mix. If you find it very wet, you can just use a teaspoon as well if you like. And we want to press it into our mold. So this should make around four burgers. Or maybe even five. Depends on the size that you make them. What we're going to do is just take the wrap and fold it over like that, and then cut out each individual burger. What are we gonna need for our um, beetroot relish? We're gonna need one spring onion, finely chopped, 250 grams of beetroot, uh, that half of it has been blended and half of, the, half of, of it has been chopped finely. Okay, I like some texture in my, in my relish. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, lemon juice as well as the zest, salt and brown sugar. Hi ladies and gentlemen, we're back. It's the next day. I'm just going to get the burgers out of the fridge. 
I'm gonna chop some fresh mint up for for the relish, and we're gonna build our burgers up. We have our burgers out of the fridge, and you can see they're nice and firm. Got a very good texture to them. The one that's slightly thinner, that's for Natalie, um, is a bit softer, but that's okay. In the frying pan, it'll firm up. Okay, so while my burger is cooking off, I'm just gonna carry on making my mint and beetroot relish. So it needs to be finished off with some chopped mint. So what I do is I just take the mint and put them together into a pile. Lo que vamos a hacer es empezar con a terminar el relis, cortando la menta y lo que vamos a hacer es ponerlo todo junto, doblarlo y cortar desde aquí una vez muy fina. Vamos a hacerlo. So here we have the burgers ready, turned over. I'm just going to stick them into the oven. Okay, for our relish, we're going to take two teaspoons of the beetroot relish and we're going to put in a pinch of the chopped mint by placing up our burger. It's nice and toasted. There we go. And we get our relish on. And let's mix. Looks lovely, the relish on top of the burger there. And we get some lettuce. Tomato. And we want to season it. And some olive oil. So for those of you who know me, uh, I'm just going to be serving it with some chips there. I love some chips. This is the rub that um, my neighbor made with the chili that I smoked for him. It's just got some herbs, some seasoning and some coriander seeds toasted in there. So I'm just going to add that on top. And there we have our burger looking scrumptious and lovely. Let's get a clean shot in there.